Hi there Maya, so you have now completed your music video project, did you enjoy the experience? Yes I have, it was a great experience, I learned so much, it was a great opportunity. That's great. So how did you use new media technologies for the construction and research of your project and in the planning and evaluation stages? Throughout our music video and ancillary products we have used many media technologies. We have used them to create three very well designed products. We used software such as Final Cut and Photoshop and online websites such as Google, YouTube and Blogger. It's amazing what the website allows you to do and understand. Without the use of online programs such as Google and YouTube, we would have never been able to research of our genre and other related bands. That sounds great. So how did you start off your project? Well first we had to film our footage. We had initially two days to film before our rough cut deadline, but after this we had another evening of filming because we didn't have enough quality footage. The two days were very limiting especially as it's winter and gets dark very early. On this extra day we got so much extra filming done, which proved to be very useful and we planned and filmed a narrative for our music video, as this was something which was commented on before. The filming must have been difficult, and especially filming at night. How did you overcome this? Well, to film our video we used different types of equipment, a tripod, video camera, lighting equipment such as a torch, and light reflector and a stills camera. Obviously due to the time of night we were filming, the lighting equipment was very important, and especially in some of our close-ups of Tom's face, it gave him light and set the scene adding to the effect. Using the equipment proved to be hard at first, but we soon got to the grips with it, understanding how to light effectively, in the right area etc. Oh I see. Sounds like you managed to work it out though. Yes definitely, with practice. We filmed in different locations to add variety into our video and keep our audience interested. This also helped with adding depth to the narrative we were trying to create. We filmed in multiple locations, the train station, in the city center, on top of the Grand Arcade car park, next to a railway, King's Parade in town, and a coffee shop. When filming in these locations it proved to be rather difficult. At times, because of busy traffic or other people. Again the fact that we had to get our daytime clips done early in the evening provides to be challenging. Sounds like you had a great range of different locations. And you filmed in a cafe? Yes we did, don't worry we asked for permission first. After we filmed our music video we then uploaded our footage into our folder on a program called Final Cut. Final Cut was a very useful software, however only when you understand how to use it. There are many useful tools you can use to add extra effects to your video, such as changing the color, tones or adding and fades to cut to another clip, so it was very useful. I soon got to grips with the software though and was able to use it effectively. So after we imported this data we then started to create our music video. Our video used lots of different effects. For example we smashed a clock and then reversed it so the clock became whole again. This was a very effective scene. This added to the emphasis of time. To do this we had to manually change the pace and time of the clip. With practice we got the hang of this and managed to use this tool effectively to create this clip. We increased the pace again when we videoed. A 360 single quote angle of Chloe standing in the middle of the path, the increased pace was very effective and again added to the sense of running out of time. We used lots of fades in our video, this was to make the cuts from one clip to another a lot more smoother and clean, it was also very effective as some fades emphasized the fact that Tom was looking back to the good times together, it looked as if it was a distance memory in the past. To do this we had to use the little pen tool on the right hand side, making sure the line tool on the left hand side was also selected we then 
placed little dots along the light to where we wanted the fades to begin and end. Zero was a complete fade out and Tem began the fade. Once we had finished our music video we then had to create it into a quick time movie so we could publish it onto YouTube and our blog. YouTube was very important for all aspects of our project. It allowed us to research our genre and other bands but also allowed us to show our own work to the whole world. Blogger was where we displayed all the work we did, research, rough cut and finals we created, and the examiner will then mark our work off our group's individual blog. It is a very useful, practical way of displaying our work. At times it was rather temperamental to whether it would work or not, especially when uploading photos and for when it didn't work we used another website called Flick. This website is an online photo displayer for people to upload their photos to and share with all other members. We copied the HTML from the photo once uploaded and inserted it onto the blog for it to be seen on there. You used many websites in this. Yes we did, without the internet a project like this would never be able to happen, you couldn't research, display your work or use these particular websites that help you complete your project. I see. It sounds like you sent a lot of time on producing your music video and lots of different technologies. Yes it did, compared to our ancillary products the music video took a while, but it was a great experience to be able to create our own music video and working with a group of people to complete it. That's great. So how did your ancillary products work out? Yes so after our rough cut and our final music video we then moved on to our ancillary products for this we needed to create a magazine front cover and digipack. These needed to be special releases, something people hadn't seen and heard before so they needed to be eye-catching and unique. To create these we used Photoshop. Like the Final Cut software, I also hadn't used Photoshop on a while, and I found it rather tricky to begin with but I soon got the hang of it and was able to help create the ancillary products. For our magazine advert we morphed the face of Tom our star into the face of some graffiti face we found whilst filming. To do this we altered the opacity levels and used the different brushes to finish the product. We also added text to it to make sure we advertise our digipark and made it look like an actual magazine cover. Photoshop just like Final Cut is a great piece of software, when you know how to use it, it can be very tricky. But I managed to learn different techniques which we needed for our products. Our digipark required lots of editing as. For this we decided to use lots of different images and edited them rather than Make it all about our lead singer, as it's a digit arc it's meant to be a special release, this also added to the exclusivity of the product. To create our digit arc I mainly used lots of different brush tools and altered the brightness and saturation, these tools are found on the image of a little half moon tab on the tools window. Was the editing of the ancillary products difficult then? Yes especially the digit pack, as we based. It around all the different effects and colors of images rather than our lead singer and images of him. What did you do after that? After we finished all three products we had to blog them on our own group's blog. This is so all of our work can be marked and examined at the end out the course were quotation. To evaluate our work we used different online resources again. We used Prezi to speak about task 2, which is an animation presentation website where you create basically little mind maps and then it plays it like a PowerPoint presentation. This was very tricky to use. To overcome this though I created a PowerPoint first then inserted it onto the website so I could just copy it over. This made the process a lot easier and more time efficient. We used SlideShare to talk about task 1, which is an online website used for sharing PowerPoint presentations. We you can just upload onto the website. They're designed for easy sharing. This was very easy to use. Task 3 was a group task and for this, we created a vox pop where we each individually spoke about a section of our music video whilst being filmed. Abe, 
For our final task 4 we created an extra normal. We did this by using the extra normal website. Here I created two different characters, designed my set and wrote a script for them. To talk about the use of different technologies in our work, research, and planning. This was a really fun piece of software and allowed me to create expressions and design a real conversation. So you did a lot of your evaluation tasks through online websites. Yes we did. The internet provides you with so many useful sites to create interesting evaluations. Rather than just writing an essay, it's a lot more creative and fun and increases our technical ability. So you enjoyed your project and you're pleased with it. I'm very pleased with our products. I feel we designed a brilliant music video, eye-catching and interesting ancillary products, which therefore reflected our music video effectively. I have learned many new techniques and improved and deepened my knowledge. I'm also very pleased with my contribution to the group and the part I played to make all of this work to come together. That's great. Thank you very much for speaking to me today. Thank you.